Epidemiology as a discipline started here at Johns Hopkins. Exposure group zero. Hazard ratio still. Okay. We are one of the founding departments in the first school of public health. And there's no question, we are by far the largest department of epidemiology in the world. There are such diverse experts from all over the world. The structure of the heart and the function um, looks uh, normal. SST number one, and then the next one is number two. You actually get to work with real research teams. You are a member of the research team. You bring something to the scientific investigation. It's inspiring to walk down the halls with people who've solved some of those bigger problems. It pushes you, and I think that's important. It's not just that the senior faculty members are excellent and famous in their field, they are, but the students are excellent. They become a part of the team, and often they're a leading edge of the team in exploring and solving problems. And anyone else walking through the door and saying, hey, I've got this idea, let's run with it. So that's what they should really do. I already changed this around his data, so it's ready to go. Good. Um, some of our students come from the Peace Corps or from international experiences. Some come after receiving clinical training as physicians or nurses. And some come because they really just want to do public health. It's interesting to work with graduate students here because I think they're every bit as bright as the faculty. And it's neat to actually capitalize on that. Commitment to the community and giving back to the community is a very important part of what we strive for in the Department of Epidemiology. And to me, that's very motivating and a daily reminder of why we study public health and why it's such an important field in learning how to address health disparities. I applied for funding and got funding to go travel to Cape Town in South Africa. That was a great experience because it provided me a very local and a very global experience at the same time. Hopkins is the number one recipient of grants on HIV AIDS. So the largesse of the NIH budget that comes to Hopkins really creates great opportunities for students. They're going to have a set of tools that are incredibly needed in the public health community. And I'm pleased to say that about 100% of our graduates are now employed. The students are so incredibly diverse and incredibly unique, but the one common thread that all students have is a passion. We like making a difference. And for me, combining science, biology, and numbers to actually solve things, it doesn't get any better than that.